morning everybody Joanna here again we're gonna do that sexy tube dress 10 minutes flat you need two measurements your bust minus four inches because the fabric is super stretchy and the length you want it just like two inches after your knee so what you do you get your fabric and you fold and you measure the bust area I minus nine came up to 19 and then you measure the length and mine came up to like 44 so what you did you cut it out and then you stitch like a double stitch right along the end okay so now you have it already folded you measure you take off like four to six inches off the top you give that first measurement and you put a pin I'm going to take off 4 inches. It could be more if you want your drape to be longer. You take off more. And then you take off another 8 to 10 inches according to how low you want it in the back. Okay, so it's 2 measurements. And then how deep you want it inside. So I could take mine to like 4 inches on the inside. Sit here. And what you do, you cut along these three points here. So you cut super easy. You could cut it as a semicircle. And you don't need to hem, but if you want, you do a roll hem here, a roll hem around the back, and a roll hem there. And this is your dress. That's it. It's that simple to do your tube dress. I'll take pictures later for you to see how it came out, but it's a drip tube dress. Okay, so if you want to add on a train, we're gonna the other video will show you how to add on your train onto it. And until then, when I'm ready to show you, I'll show you pictures of the tube dress and then I'll show you a light. Okay, so this is how the dress came out. I think I wait. I think we did this in less than 10 minutes though. So you see in the back, right? You see in your halter, and you see in your lovely drape in front. I think this is gonna look so cute. So after this one, we're gonna add the train onto it, and then you're gonna just get fabulous. Okay, so I'm back. I'm gonna show you how to add on your peplum train. Now I had posted a video that I found from YouTube how to make a peplum. To fit you and if you want you could go to that and do your peplum but I didn't have enough fabric to do an, a whole peplum so I have to end up doing two halves so what I did is I folded my fabric on the bias and I used half of my peplum that I already had from before this is what I'm always going to be using for me and I'm just gonna cut two halves of a peplum Okay, I cut one already, so this is my second one. And I'm gonna cut this one out now. Because this is only two yards of fabric that I bought. Remember, I told you it was one yard for the tube dress, which came out really nice. And I said, all who want to add on a train, you needed to buy like another yard and a, a one and a half yard or a half yard more right but i bought two yards but it still wasn't enough so i should have bought two and a half yards okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna stitch this together and then i'm gonna i have the cold so i'm sorry if i'm sniffling stitch it together and this is gonna give me my train if you want to do a high low you can cut off part of it and do your high low in front or if you want you can just leave it long I'm gonna leave it long and gonna stretch the sides and add it on I'll show you how I add it on in a little I'm back and because we hardly have formal wear we are gonna turn this into a dramatic formal wear dress 
so I made the peplum this is the peplum here it's like 20 inches long and um, in the back of one side of my peplum directly in the middle I made a snip so there's this triangular snip and I'm going to attach it to the seam I made it right side I'm gonna attach it to the seam because the seam is running down your back and you want this dead center so you're gonna put these two together your seam and your snip and you're gonna stitch this right around and because it's it's a knit I'm using today you don't really need to hem if you want if you have a serger then fine but you don't really need to hem and you just make your attachments okay you sew right around and i'll be back with the video to show you how it comes out and i really hope you try it and yes i've been working out and i've seen the results i didn't wear any tight underwear any spanks or anything and i'm seeing the results so whoever is walking with me i'm happy right so far i've made over 60 miles i think so far and i'm really happy with myself and we'll see me okay me here dress is finished my peplum is attached to my tube dress look at it turning around here to see behind right i feel so sexy in this dress and the sun is so hot i have nowhere to go in it but i'm really happy how it came out and i hope yours come out just as fabulous send me some pictures i just need to see and this is the first time i actually cut this dress as you saw me working the first time i cut the dress and i just want you to just stay happy and keep on sewing and another thing i started walking and i want somebody to walk with me and, and give me updates too and continue to just sew up